first of all, Liam, congratulations, new deal uh, last week that uh, keeps you at the club, you must be over the moon. Yeah, really happy to get it over the line. Um, good to come in today and see um, all the lads from last season and some new new, uh, new players, so uh, looking forward to it. Uh, over the seasons, uh, lots of ups, uh, certainly lots of downs as well. Even your, uh, your debut would be a, a day of contrast. Yeah, um, good season last season. Um, obviously, on a personal level, I was uh, injured at the start, but you know it, it ended strong and we got promoted, and that that was a that was a task in hand at the start of the season. So happy days. Now you, you've obviously seen lots of managers uh, coming to the club: Ronnie Moore, Johnny Mark, Rob Edwards, Mickey Adams, Alan Rogers, Gary Bradford, Paul Card, and a temporary charge, and uh, Mickey now. When they come and went, was, was there ever a fear in your mind that this manager may not like here or he wouldn't fit into the plans? Absolutely, it's it's exactly the same as joining a new club, really, because you know it's. When a new manager comes in, they've got different ideas, and you know they might bring uh, other personnel in. But um, you know, I just me as a lad, I just get my head down and crack on with it. And you know, I've uh, I feel like I've I've done that, and I'm very proud to stay here. Um, back to back relegations, unfortunately uh, for yourself. When they went down to the national league, was was there a thought process that we we bounce back immediately? Definitely. Um, you know, with the size of the club and. Obviously, Mark and Nicola coming in, um, things were looking on the up, but you know it wasn't meant to be for three years. But um, it was <coughs> the club was always going in the right direction, even though we didn't get promoted. Um, even under Gary Bravin, we missed out on the playoffs um, by a couple of points. Then obviously the season after we lost against Forest Green, so the club was definitely going in the right direction. And um, obviously the season before last, we we got promoted, and that's fantastic. How tough was the National League? Because I mean, on paper you look at Tranmere by name, and you'd think they they would bounce back immediately. But I think you would be the prize scalp to everyone in that division, wouldn't you? So, yeah, it's a tough league because you know there's only one goes up automatically, and then one's fighting for a playoff spot. So it's it's very tough, and you know you're going to places that you might be playing in front of 200, 200 fans, 300 fans, and it's you know <clears throat> you've got to motivate yourself, and it's it, it is a really tough league. Um, and there's some good teams in there as well, don't forget that. So, yeah, I'm just glad we've uh, come at the other, other end of that now and we're, we're looking up. You mentioned then just missing out on the playoffs first season. Second season, of course, we went to the playoff final. Uh, I suppose the, the build up to that weekend must have been fantastic for you personally, but it didn't quite work out that way for you. No, no, it didn't. Um, and it was disappointing because, you know, obviously Forest Green were a great, a great team uh, that we were playing against, but. Was disappointing because I thought we had a great season that year. We played some tremendous football, um, and uh, yeah, we're just really unlucky not to not to win. And I think we, uh, it, I think it's a good thing that, that it happened to us for the season after, though, especially with me getting sent off. And I think the lads just obviously thought we can't lose again, and, and that's made history. You, you mentioned then, of course, the red card for, for you personally, an absolute disaster. Do you remember much about the game from sitting in the stands? Or? Not really. No, I was I was crying most of it. So, <laughs> especially when Norwood scored. But yeah, obviously it, it wasn't nice to get sent off. I was a bit in shock to be honest with you. And then obviously reality uh, kicks in when you're in the change room on your own. Um, but yeah, I'm just glad it's it's all over now and it's and it's uh, in the past. An absolute elation when the, uh, the lads finally got here over the line. Absolutely, I can't, honestly, I can't thank them enough. Um, lead two, first season, Mickey Mellon, what's the message to the players? Is it to consolidate or was there a belief that you could go to? Go, go again because you know we, we have, we've got a great group of lads here. Um, obviously, recruited well in the, in the January transfer window and, and the summer, so you know, but the, the core of the team was still here, so the belief was definitely there. Uh, playoffs come around again after a phenomenal season, a great run as well in the middle, I think it was nine in a row that they won. Yeah. Uh, Forest Green come up in the semi-final, uh, was it personal as well because there's a, a little bit of a rivalry going on with Forest Green in the last few years? Um, you don't really think about that as a player at the time because you just concentrate on the game but you know you see things on Twitter and people talking about it and it, you know you, you can understand that rivalry but um, other than that I just, we're just really happy to to get a positive result at home, um, which I think a few few people were disappointed that we only won one with um, obviously getting a man sent off early on. So um, we're going down there. I thought we was we was excellent. Uh, Wembley again, three years in a row. Uh, Newport County this time, a very tough side. 
But there, there seemed to be an air of calmness around the squad, Mickey in particular, and the players, their time of asking. Was that a case of experience? or? Yeah, I think it was, and a, and, and a case of knowing you know, we are there to get promoted. Um, not, not there to play in a fantastic stadium and just, and just play the game. We, we are there to get promoted and then obviously all them other things come with promotion. So, um, you know, I thought it was excellent and it was a last minute header from Connor and that just shows that, you know, we'll keep going until the end. Did you think it was going to be swap kicks? Was your plan on putting your main forward? Um, I don't, I, do you know something? I didn't really think about them because I always believed that we'd score and that's, that's the message that the gaff has definitely put in place here. Keep going until the end because you just never know what happens. And you know, great ball from Caprice and Connor's there to edit in. And you know, it's very, very uh, late on in the game, and we held out and fantastic. So uh, after some summers of uh, maybe overthinking, maybe disappointment, uh, regrets even, uh, the last two have been uh, pretty happy in the Liam Rydell's household, I'm sure. Yeah. Um, obviously, the first year that we got promoted. Um, that was just, I think someone was looking over me that day, just me personally, because obviously getting sent off could have been definitely different for myself that year. Um, and last year, um, I really enjoyed it because obviously I felt I played a big part in the game and, and uh, we, we got promoted. So, yeah, this summer's been probably, probably the tip of the iceberg. And uh, finally, as we mentioned at the top of the interview, new contract uh, back where you started in, uh, in League One with Rovers. It has been some journey. It wouldn't be right if we didn't mention the SWA. The fans have been immense on this uh, roller coaster journey. Haven't we? They have. They've stuck with us, and that's all you can ask. Um, what have been easy for them? Seeing two relegations, you know, seeing players come, players leave. You know, it, it can't be easy for them. There's no, you know, continuity within the group. And but I think that when, especially with the start of when Gary Brabin uh, joined, I think that's when they could see that that's when the, the start happened. And obviously Mickey Mellon coming in, and they can obviously see that it's it was uh, going to be positive, and they've stuck with us through throughout all of it. Three in a row. You never know, do you? Never know. It would be some achievement, but um, we'll give it his best best shot.